Hi! Would you like to learn about the most popular integration patterns? From this video, you will learn what integration patterns are and you will understand the most popular of them using examples. What are integration patterns? When designing an integration, it is worth considering the use of integration patterns. Integration patterns are proven ways to solve a specific integration problem. Just like architecture patterns or design patterns, they can help when designing a solution. In the next part, I will present the most popular patterns that I have encountered during my professional work. The most popular integration patterns are Synchronous Request Response Asynchronous Request Response Point to Point Publish Subscribe Pipes and Filters Content-Based Router Content Enricher Message Broker and Message Bus The Request Response Synchronous Integration Pattern consists in the consumer calling the function provided by the supplier and waiting for a response. In this case, the consumer waits for a response for a defined time limit, timeout. The request response pattern is used when the consumer must have the result of the function from the supplier for further processing. This is an example of two-way integration. An example of synchronous request response calls is the use of SOAP operations or REST resources. The request response asynchronous integration pattern consists in the consumer transferring the request to the supplier and not waiting for an immediate response. After the response has been prepared, it will be transferred from the supplier to the consumer. We use this type of integration when the data preparation by the supplier may take a long time, for example, due to complex calculations. This is an example of two-way integration. The request response is transferred asynchronously. The pattern is an extension of one-way asynchronous integration. An example of asynchronous request response calls is the use of NQQs. The point-to-point -point integration pattern consists in the direct integration of the supplier and the consumer. The supplier transfers the message to the pipe. It is only received by one consumer. NQQs can be used to implement point-to-point -point integration. The publish-subscribe integration pattern consists in integrating the supplier with many consumers. The supplier transfers the message to the pipe to which the consumers are subscribed. The same message is sent to consumers. To implement the publish-subscribe integration, we can use the topics in Apache Kafka. The pipes and filters integration pattern consists in building a sequence of processors, filters, and connecting them using pipes. Instead of building a complex message processing logic in one component, we can create a sequence of filters. Each filter has an input and output interface. All filters use the same interface definition. This ensures that filters can be combined with different pipes in any order. The connection between the filter and the pipe is called a port. The content-based router integration pattern consists in forwarding the message to the appropriate recipient based on the data from the message. Based on the content of the request, the router redirects the message to the appropriate recipients via pipes. Routing can be performed based on various criteria, such as verifying whether there is a specific field in the message or whether the field contains a specific value. A customizable rule engine can also be used to determine the recipient and destination pipe. The content enricher integration pattern is used to extend the original message with the content required by the target component and unavailable in the source system. Missing information is extracted from other sources based on data provided by the source system. An example of using the content enricher pattern can be a use case where the source system transfers the address in the form of a postal code while the target component also requires receiving the name of the province. For this purpose, the content enricher downloads information about the province based on a postal code from an external data source. The message broker integration pattern is to integrate suppliers with consumers using a central integration component. Suppliers transfer the message to one component responsible for transferring it to the relevant consumer or consumers. The message broker eliminates the problem of point-to-point -point integration between all suppliers and consumers. It can facilitate integration and establish uniform security rules. Message broker may be a bottleneck in the solution. To implement the message broker, we can use Apache Active NQ or Apache Kafka. The message bus integration pattern consists in integrating suppliers with consumers using a central integration bus via shared interfaces. It allows to easily connect or disconnect the IT system through pipes and adapters. It uses a canonical data model that improves the management of the data model. The message bus eliminates the problem of point-to-point -point integration between all suppliers and consumers. It could be a bottleneck. Web Methods Integration Server, Web Methods ESB, 
or Mule ESB can be used to implement the message bus. Thanks for listening to the end of presentation. If you have any questions, write to me by email. Hey.